Good morning, I'm Neva Reddy Manu and this is your morning news fix for Thursday 15th of February. In this update, fresh fire crews are on their way to Christchurch's Port Hills to continue work on the blaze which is more than 100 hectares in size. Residents in Early Valley, Worsley Spur, Hay Valley and Kennedy's Bush have been evacuated. It's still unclear when they'll be able to return to their homes. No properties have been lost so far. News Talk ZB reporter Blake Benny told Mike Hosking more than 100 firefighters battled the blaze overnight with those numbers expected to climb this morning. There'll be 23 trucks, 13 helicopters and two Fitzwing aircraft working. Of course, a state of emergency is in force for Christchurch City including Banks Peninsula and the South District. Evacuation centres are set up at Horswell Community Centre and Lincoln Community Centre. And weather conditions will do firefighters no favours today. Met Service forecaster Heath Gullery says temperatures are set to climb into the late 20s and gusty northwest winds are expected to pick back up after easing overnight. See some gusts around 50 kilometres per hour. Very hot, dry northwest winds through, say, from about mid morning right through to early evening. Cuts to council services will be decided today as Wellington City Councillors vote on the city's draft long-term plan. It includes rolling out paid parking in suburban areas, cutting back on swimming pools opening hours and scrapping the city's New Year's Eve event. It comes amid a financial pickle for the council with billions required to fix crumbling water infrastructure. Legislation changing the rate of welfare increases is expected to pass under urgency before the week is up. The government began working under urgency yesterday to pass the bill through the House to hitch benefit hikes in line with inflation. Political reporter Demelza Jackson has more. Changes made by the former Labour government saw benefits rise with wage growth each year, which generally rises faster than CPI. An official report suggests the changes will offer a cost saving of nearly $670 million, but it also warns lower benefits will likely see the number of children living in poverty increase by 7,000 in four years. Fletcher Building's poor results are believed to be indicative of wider pain in the construction sector. The company's half-year financial results painted a dire picture with a $120 million net loss. Chief Executive Ross Taylor announced his resignation yesterday along with Chair Bruce Hassel. Combined Building Supplies Co-op Chair Carl Taylor told Mike Hosking the industry is hurting. Everyone's hurting. It is quiet out there. Our numbers are down with some of our merchants. In sport, Erica Fairweather has claimed a silver medal in the 200 metre freestyle to back up her gold in the 400 free at the World Swimming Championships in Doha. Lewis Clearbert has finished seventh in the 200 metre butterfly final. New Zealand was dismissed for 211 in reply to South Africa's 242 on the second day of the second cricket test at Hamilton. Dame Lisa Carrington has won big at the Helberg Awards. The champion kayaker has secured the Supreme Award after nabbing Sportswoman of the Year. I'm Neva Reti Manu. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.